This tutorial is going to cover the next step after we have set up a score. It's the addition of page tabs and some of the things that we can do to make life a little bit easier as we're setting up page tabs. So first off, we know that we're going to begin on the opening set, count zero. Let's unlock the track, which is down here. You'll know the track, the count track is unlocked if it is all yellow. And then we're going to just click at count zero. That is our opening set. Now, one step we can do, we can do it later as well, depends on how much of a hurry you're in and how much you want to just get out of the way while you're setting up your, your initial drill file. We could double click right here on the page tab. And here under page tab or set title, we can start putting in the instructions that are going to end up being the transition instructions we would have to put in later anyhow. So we might as well do them now. There are no instructions for the opening set. It is the opening set. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type that in, opening set, and I hit OK. Now I'm going to need to go back to our music. And here you can see that I have told myself that my first move is going to be 16 counts. So I'm going to go back over to Piware, click under 16, double click on the tab, and it's a 16 count move, as I said. So I'm going to put move 16. Some people will put in float 16, push 16, follow the leader 16, whatever. I just like using the word move because I can then modify that in a bunch of different ways. It can be a float, it can be a follow the leader, it can be a push. So it's move 16 and it measures one through four. Hit okay. Go back to the music. I see that my next move is another 16 counts culminating in count 32. So I go back to Piware, count 32. Move 16, measures 5 through 8, hit OK. We're not going to do all of these. We're just going to do the first five or so. My next move would be another 16 count move to count 48. So there we have count 48, move 16, measures 9 through 12, hit OK. And you'll note here I have a halt at the end of this. It's a hold 4. So I'm going to go back to page tab four, and I'm going to add hold four, measure 13. And the reason I'm doing that is because when I go to do this as a tab right here at 52, and by the way, if you screw up and you put the tab somewhere else, like right here, you might notice I actually put it at count 54, not count 52. You can just grab it and move it into the correct place, and now you'll see it is in the correct place. It's a four count hold. The reason that I put the hold command on the page before is because I'm going to turn this into a sub page tab. I do this with all my holds because I don't want to print out the actual hold page. After all, whatever form I put here, it's going to be the same at 4A than it is at regular 4. I don't want to waste paper. So this way, when I go to print commands later, I'll show you this it won't print out page 4A. It'll just print out page 4 and it'll have the instruction to move 16 and to hold four. So that covers us. And then finally, let's just do one more. It's a five measure move, 20 counts. So ending at 72, there we go. Move 20 and I believe it was measures uh, 14 through 18 and then hit okay. And so far, so good. We've got our first five pages. Let's just go ahead and add our final one as well. So I, obviously I would add another page tab at 88, one at 104, one at 19, uh, actually um, from 104 then, because we jumped up here, I would then add another page tab at 120 uh, in the secondary counts and at 136, et cetera. But for now, we're gonna skip over that and I'm just gonna add the last one, which is count 212. To move the track, you can either click this arrow here, or you can just simply grab the track and move it over. And, oh, I actually did this from before, so that was lucky for us. 212 is our final count. However, if it is not the final count in yours, because yours will go to like 299 or 300, one thing you can do is you can come to the utilities go to the count editor, go to add or remove counts in the drill. And here's where I would tell it, hey, let's remove a whole bunch of counts after 212. Since 212 is my final spot, my final count, 
I can remove any number of counts. And it doesn't matter what number you put in here as long as this number is correct. And so I would hit OK, and we've already done that, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. At this point, I would lock the track back up. Now you'll know it's locked because it'll be gray, and if I click under a number, it's not going to allow me to enter anything. And I go back to the beginning. Now, I don't have anything set here, and this is not what this tutorial is going to be um, just yet. But if I were to go to print this right now, what I would see would be this print chart dialog box. And you can see that right here are the commands that I entered in advance. I'm going to ask it not to print the subsets. So I'm going to ask it to print all but the subsets. I can do that here or I can just go to this particular box and unclick that one. So you can see it's not going to print. It's going to print pages one through six. And in fact, we don't need page six to print right now either. I'm going to undo that one. And when I go to do a print preview, again, there's no form, but you can see down here are the instructions. They're always down here on the lower left. And so you're pretty much ready to start putting drill performers into this file. Now our next video will deal with how to actually sync the audio so that that becomes even easier for you. It's, it's very helpful sometimes when you're writing drill or designing formations to be able to hear the music repeated, uh, repeatedly. So that's what our next video will be about. This video was, again, about setting up page tabs. And so we have done that.